Hello, viewers. My name is Dr. Omani Yadoye. I'm a content creator, filmmaker, and medical practitioner. Please, I want you to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Also, click on that bell to get notified anytime we upload new content. We upload at least three times every week on Tuesdays, on Fridays, and Sundays. Expect informative, entertaining, and soul lifting content from this channel. We will give you the latest gospel movies, entertaining skits, and shows like Medical Tips, Kimi Yorubanwi, One on One with the Champion, and many more. Please don't forget to subscribe. We will serve you best. I love you. Ogongo TV The Lily with you in few minutes. Document today. Just give me a few minutes. Thanks. Tony! Dupe! Hurry up, kids. Time is on my side. Happy girl! Happy girl, double up. I'm in a hurry. Good. Oh, baby. Baby, just How are you? Bye, my baby. Bye, daddy. Take care of yourself. Yeah, where's my breakfast? Oh, sorry, Oni. Happy girl! Where is that this food? Just take this to the car. Oh Look, honey, I'm in a hurry. Don't you start. What she will it? fix it up. She has all the details. What is it this time? Beans, of course. Beans? Look, honey, don't you start. I'm almost late. Have a nice day. Catch you. Move, 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 move. Move, move, children. Mm -hmm. What is it? The beast you saw you already, sir. I've lost my appetite. Sir? You heard me.
Yes. Oh, Sheila. How are you today? I'm very fine, thank you, sir. You're welcome, sir. Thank you. Sir, you seem not to be in a very good mood. I hope all is well. All is well. I'm fine. Okay, sir. Lest I forget, have you heard from Donawa Associates about the project? Oh, no, sir. I've been expecting their call, sir. Good. You'll have to send an email to them. They must respond If they fail to do so, they should forget about the project. Oh, all right. Okay? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. You may leave now. Okay. Sir, should I make you some coffee? Or have you had breakfast? Coffee. Coffee will be fine. All right, sir. Thank you. All right, you're welcome, sir. Mr. Abadunji, you are still here? Yes, I'm still here. You have not collected your check? No, sir. Funke? Yes, sir. What's happened to his check? I've told him to wait for the account to finish up with his check. Um, Mr. Abadunji, do something for me. Yes, Go to the account section. Ask for Mr. Tolofari. Tell him I sent you. Okay, sir. Thank you. Okay. Right. Thank you, madam. You're welcome. Okay, all right. Uh, Funga? Yes, sir. Have you sent uh, those documents to Bonix Associates? Yes, sir. Yesterday. Okay, have you got any reply? Not yet, sir. Okay. That's strange. Wow! What is that? This is it. Have a look. This transaction was done illegally. Have a look. The said amount was not remitted, sir. Ah, 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 ah. Ah, 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 ah. <laughs> the Marco Associates have a case to answer. Mm. This is brilliant. You are a genius, Funke. Thank you, sir. Mm, what will I do without you? Ah. Wonderful. You know what you will do for me? Yes, sir. Tidy up the details. And first thing tomorrow morning, we'll send it to them. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. <laughs> we are going to hit them with this. Yeah. And I bet you that they will be shaking. No doubt. Ah. Okay? Yes, sir. I owe you lunch. And apart from that, you shall receive a special package. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Yes, well sir. done, well done, well done. Good. Hello, darling. Hello, honey. I'm fine. 
Please, you will help me to pick up the kids from school. No, you, oh my God, I'm in the office. I have so many things to do here. The, the, the table is loaded. I'm very busy. I've got a lot of documents to tidy up. Oh. Okay, 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 okay. I'll get them. Hey, thanks. You are a darling. Oh. Oh. Getting late. Won't you come to bed? I'll soon join you. It's just that I need to send all this email to all those concerned ahead of tomorrow's critical meeting. The investigating panel needs information and I need to get my back straight. The company's integrity is at stake and I don't want to face the music. Will soon join you. Ah, look, this this is an enormous joy. It's even giving me a headache. I need all the time to concentrate. Please. Okay, okay, ah. okay. Uh, but don't be long. Ah. It's all right. My Lord, I thank you for giving me Funke as my wife and a help meet. But Lord, help me. You said whatever you have joined together, let no man put asunder. This is not man, Lord. It is the job. Lord, take control.
Look, Dayo, we need to get something straight. We both agreed together before I took up this job. Now we have the job, you've started complaining. Can't you just adjust and try to understand? Hey, if we get cut that out. Don't tie my hands with unnecessary spiritual sentiments. We prayed about it, yes. We fasted about it, yes. But must we allow our home to collapse at the expense of putting food on our table? Just look at you. See me stalking. Were you not the one complaining about the financial pressures? About the house rent, children's school fees, acquiring our home properties and even having investments? How do you expect those things to happen if we don't work at and earn good money? Look at your salary. It can't take us anywhere. I'm not boasting, no. But you know my pay is fat and it's helping. Funke. Funke. I'm losing you. I'm losing you. The job is bringing me money, yes. But I'm not getting your attention anymore. That's not true. Your problem is that you just can't adjust. Uh-uh. I'm a career woman, you know. What do you expect? Do you expect me to be a full-time housewife? Do you expect me to sit at home while you do all the running? Do you expect me to depend on you for money for my clothing, jewelry, and makeup? Uh -uh. Come on, Dayo, be a man, be a man. Uh. And Dio, the Bible says there is time for everything. Funke. The same Bible says that it is not good for a man to be alone. I'm married, yet I'm lonely. Come on, Dayo. Uh, uh, we're going to be a man. Uh, uh, there are lots of men outside there whose wives are not even in the country. They are not dead. They are alive and they are coping. Just because you couldn't have my attention for a period shouldn't make you be sucking like a baby now. Come on, Dayo. I'll soon take my leave, eh? And everything will be over, at least, eh? Is he nagging you over the job? It's it's all right, but uh, no, 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 it's no, no, all no, right, no, 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 no. Look, that man does not appreciate you at all. A thorough professional like you, exceptional woman, auditor by excellence needs to be understood. He doesn't understand that this job goes with some stress and abnormalities. Ah. But I'm trying my best. <laughs> Look, that guy has a problem. He must be ready to give what it takes. Today's financial situation is tremendous. 
We all need to work hard to earn good money. That's all right. Uh, by the way, that reminds me of one thing. I'm thinking of um, um, I'm concluding plans on reopening my company, a company in LA, in the US. And I'm looking for a dedicated, reliable, transparent and hardworking personality to represent us over there. And uh, Funke, I would like you to seriously consider it. Uh, well, I mean, pray about it. Sir, you mean? <laughs> yes, Funke. Uh, but let's do that for now. You know what I want you to do for me today? Yes, sir. Uh, help me complete the account of Mojo Holdings. Yes, sir. I will appreciate it. I can get it right to you. Okay, sir. Thank you very much, sir. You're welcome. Uh, ask Isaac to come and see me. Good on you, sir. Oh, thanks for the compliment. <laughs> You're welcome, sir. You're welcome. Um, sir, this letter was brought in to you from the head office this morning. From the head office? Yes, sir. Okay. Thank you. You may leave. Hold it there. <laughs> my boy. It's just that I lost my appetite. Daddy, we better find it before the food gets cold. Or do you want me to come and feed you? Yes, my angel. Come and feed me. Go on, go on. Eat your food. Oh, honey, serious note. Are you sure you're all right? I'm all right. I think I need some rest. So you can help me keep this till later. What's wrong with daddy? Let me find out. And heat up your food. Finish up the bed.
Honey, what is wrong with you? Stop being moody. Talk to me. What is it? Abuja, FCT. Hey, you are so good, so kind, eh? Hey. Almighty God, so good and so kind. Hey, Almighty God, you've been promoted as the regional manager. Fantastic pay, mouth watering incentive. Ah, you are so good, so kind. Eh, hey. Almighty God, who promoted my husband as regional manager. Ah, ah, I was shocked. I thought it was. Ah, I think the God. Ah! Congratulations on me. But you are not even excited. Darling, I'm thinking about us. Which us? I'm thinking about the family. Look, the challenges involved in transfer is tremendous. It's like running two homes. Come on, Dayo. Promotion comes with its challenges. And this is the breakthrough we've been waiting for. Ah, ah, hey! Or are you afraid? Come on, don't be ridiculous. But you see, you are a child of God, and you can resist temptations. And there are many men in your shoes, and they survive. Really? Okay, I'll pray about it. Pray? Well, we can pray about it, but I think it should be a prayer of thanksgiving. <laughs> Hallelujah! This is God. This can only be God. God, you are great. Hallelujah, hallelujah, eh? Regional manager, eh? The counsel of God will stand. And what's that supposed to mean? is wrong. How? Let's read this letter. Uh -huh. <laughs> ah, brother yo. Congratulations. This is for promotion. Yes, Pastor. But... But what? Pastor, I'm thinking about my family. About the church. I'm the head of the protocols department. And I'm also a, an executive of the, of, the, of the businessmen's fellowship. Pastor, you know this. I can't believe just like that. Brother, I know. Have you discussed it with your wife? I mean, have you prayed about it? She is very optimistic. She wants me to go. But I know her. If I don't play along, that home will be too hot for comfort. How? Pastor, she's more interested in the financial gains. She has ignored the risks and challenges involved in this transfer. That's my major problem. Brother, uh, probably she's happy about your progress and promotion. Oh, yes. But somehow. Somehow. Hmm. 
brother here. Master. What do you want to do now? You seem to be indecisive. Are you ready to take your stand? You are a man. You are the head of your home. You have to take your stand. Alright? Maybe the Lord is making your going to Abuja a test of your faith. You know, when you are in Abuja where there are no brethren or any pastor to monitor you, you'll be able to put into practice all the spiritual investment you have gotten from this church. Pastor, you have to pray for me. Pray for me. Yeah, I will. I will. My brother, your place. You have to take charge of your home. It is very, very important. Okay, Pastor. Thank you. So, when are you proposing to go to Abuja? Oh, well, after I want to put some things in place, I have to tidy up some things. has just been promoted and transferred to Abuja as the regional manager. Oh, God is good. God is good. Oh. I'm ah. happy for you. Thanks. Oh, oh my God. Ah, you need to check out the pay. Uh -huh. hey, it's something else. Yeah. My dear, hey, I'm the wife of the regional manager. Uh. <laughs> Official house. Uh -huh. Official car mm -hmm. and all of the juicy intent. Oh my hey, god! I'm so happy. Uh -uh. Now, wow! <laughs> oh, I hope he was so excited about it. <laughs> Don't mind the guy, yo. He doesn't want to leave his family. <laughs> what? Ah, you better talk to him, oh. Ah, does he want to remain here in Lagos and continue to suffer? Abio. Oh, but ah, I have warned him not to mess up. In fact. I've warned him not to mess up, or else that house is going to explode. Mm. Funky baby, That's I me. trust you. That's me. <laughs> How? How I wish my husband would have this kind of opportunity. Anyway, you must be visiting him on weekends or somehow, Sha. I hope you understand what I mean. I know him now, he should be visiting. I know he will be visiting. He mm. should be visiting us. Okay. Ha, that's good. Hey, your level has changed. Ah, well. <laughs> and now that uh, Dario is on transfer, hey, I'll be so free from having to rush him to go and cook for him. And all is thanking. Ah, ah, I feel so much relieved. Funke. You mean you will not miss your husband? Of course I will. Let me buy something for my kids. It's okay. You can have this for your kids. Oh, thank you, my friend. But what about your children? Ah, my children, a small thing. After all, I'll be killed my house every this day. And at worst, I will dump them in a body now. You know, I'm a career woman. I don't want to have any distractions.
I'm glad to introduce to you our new regional manager who has just been transferred from Lagos. He is Mr. Dayo Adetola. I thank you all very much for this opportunity. I appreciate every one of you. And I believe my stay here with you is going to be pleasant and will move the company forward. I therefore need your cooperation because it takes teamwork to win at all times. Yes, yes. I need your cooperation and I promise to run a transparent and open door policy. Thank you. Very much. We appreciate you so much, Thank sir. Thank you, sir. Let me introduce the management team. Here is Mr. Tim Bafoha, our counter. Account. Mrs. Tina Obona, Human Resource Manager. Human Resource. You are welcome, sir. Nice to meet you. Mr. Austin Nadu, Business Manager. Oh, business. You are welcome. And here is your secretary, Miss Jumai Bako. Miss Jumai Bako. You're welcome, sir. Nice to meet you. Of course, my own self, um, Ken Ido, Assistant Regional Manager. noticed your countenance since you arrived here in Abuja. You don't look happy. Something seems to be bothering you. Well, Ken, I, do, I don't seem to understand your conclusion, but I think as a child of God, I'm always very happy, and the joy of the Lord is my strength. <laughs> I know that. I know, Mr. D. But from my little observation, I think you lack some care. What do you mean? Look at you. Look at you, Mr. D. You are emotionally famished. Mr. D, you are emaciating. Beg your pardon. What's your problem? Mm, come off it, Mr. D. Calm down, calm down. Okay, okay. Tell me, are you maritally fulfilled? I mean, are you enjoying your marriage? Well, well, well yes, I, I, I think, I think I am. <laughs> okay, Mr. D. Tell me, what is the purpose of marriage? The purpose of marriage is companionship, to prevent immorality, I mean sexual fulfillment, procreation and all Fine, 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 fine. So what are you driving at? Look, Mr. D, when I was transferred to this place, it was an answer to my prayer. Really, I'm married. But I'm frustrated. Frustrated? How? You see, when I arrived here in Abuja, I looked haggard, uncared. I mean, uncared for. Really? But you're married. That's my point. You see, when the purpose of a thing is not known, abuse is inevitable. I'm married, but the purpose is defeated. How? He said, the first purpose of marriage is companionship. Yes. 
But I was lonely all through. My wife is a workaholic. I can't even get her attention. It's meetings, auditing, field trips, and so on. So, companionship is zero. And your second point? Sexual fulfillment. I don't get it. She's always too tired. Fucked out. She sleeps like a log of wood. Sometimes she complains that she's not in the mood. She nags. She nags. She says, What is it? Is it food that we must always eat? Oh, this is not funny, Mr. D. It isn't. I do. So, your second purpose, sex, is also defeated. But that is ridiculous. Is she not a Christian? Of course she is. But I think you understand what I'm talking about. Talking about cooking. Mm -hmm. My wife is a nightmare. Our cooking is horrible. And, and you dare not complain. Our outside is no better. In fact, the product of their combination could be best described as a horridly prepared concussion. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It isn't funny. I'm sorry. So I don't have a choice than to patronize victories. Mama put. But Mr. D, let me tell you the truth. My coming to Abuja has completely changed my story. Changed your story? Yes. How? <laughs> Fine. When I arrived here in Abuja, I met this angel. Called Love It. She's from Calabar. She cooks very well. When she handles me, oh my God! Ah! Ah! She gives me tender, loving care. <laughs> Can you see? You can you can see the result now. Look at me. 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 I've chopped up. <laughs> Ken, you must be joking. That is adultery, and it's wrong. Adultery. Mm hmm. Adultery. Mm hmm. Adultery, my friends. What am I supposed to do? Kill myself? You have to pray for her. I tried my best, but she's not just yielding. Huh. You don't understand what I passed through. Look, I understand. You No, you don't. I do. No, you don't. You don't. You're just being judgmental and hypocritical. Ah! I was single, it was understandable. But now, I'm married. I must enjoy. I must enjoy. Mr. D, I must enjoy some satin. Oh. Look, Mr. D. I know you are suffering in silence inside of you. Mm -hmm. You see, when a man is happy, I know it. I've been there. And when a man is starving sexually, I know the symptoms. You are suffering. They are written all over you. Mr. D, you are just pretending. You need tender, loving care, Mr. D. What you need is 
tender, loving care. Hmm. Ken. Ken. Anyway, I don't want to go to hell. <laughs> What's funny? You're already experiencing hell on earth. Just look at you. Look at you. You are abandoned here in Abuja, lonely and frustrated. Your wife never visits you. You lack enthusiasm to travel home. Look, Abuja babes, if they undo you, Mr. D, you go change. Ken, you amaze me. Are you not a Christian? That's the point. That's the point Vera, my wife, stands on. She knows that as a Christian, I'm stuck with her. And that I have no alternative. So, she uses her body to frustrate me, but now, she has failed. Do you know what the Bible says? <clears throat> Mr. D, huh? if God will judge, he will not exclude the accomplice in the case. We will both share in the judgment. Look, Dayo, you get problem. Problem, but you are just pretending. <laughs> Ken, I think you should stop all this nonsense. Ah. Mr. D, Oga Pretender, suffering and smiling, Oga Pretender, suffering and smiling. <laughs> you need deliverance. Ah. Oga Pretender, suffering and smiling. <laughs> love. The last time I went to Lagos, the trip was fruitless. Funke had to travel unexpectedly. I came back frustrated. Oh Lord, I need your grace and strength. together tonight and our, our colleagues and their spouses will be coming there. It would have made a world lot of difference if he had come. I'm sorry I can't. Uh, I and the managerial team will be traveling to Calabar this weekend for an auditing assignment. Uh, I'm sorry I can't. 
Hello? Hello? Okay. You are killing me softly. Dayo. Stop being childish. You are a child of God for crying out loud. Must I break myself into two just because I want to make ends meet? Let's say the situation as it is. You, you encourage me to come to Abuja. I know, but I can't have the situation for now. It's not fair. It's not fair. It's not fair. Hello, Dayo. Hello? Are you still there? What's this man's problem? He wants me to come over this weekend. <laughs> Too bad. Because Kalaba is sure. I mean, you have to make him get used to all of this. Let him understand the situation. This is the file for Kalaba. Work on it. Don't worry, everything will fall into place. See you later. I was watching you afar off. I saw you receiving a call. Well, it's nothing. You need to relax and take things easy. Life goes on. Well, tonight is the company's get together. I hope you're coming. Juma, I'm not in the mood for that. If you allow things bother you this way, you will enjoy yourself. Life goes on. Where are you going? You will say two. That's all right. Can I join you? You can come in. That is it. Fine. Yes. Now, I, I want you to give me the difference in what, what their own estate agent quoted and what our own man gave us. Okay, sir. I want you to find out the difference because it looks like it's so inflated. Okay, sir. You have the tax audit report? Yes, I do. I do. Yeah. Ah, oh, yay! Oh, oh, my God! What is it? What is it? My kids, I just remembered, my kids, they are still in school. Oh. Uh, okay, that's not a problem. That's our plan of Oh. Hello. Uh, Appa. Okay. Uh, please, help me organize to pick uh, Funke's children from school. Uh, what's in the number? Yes, it does. Uh, you, know the, you, know, you know their school? Go, go. Please, just uh, uh, bring them to the office. Okay. Bring them to the office. Okay, yes. Okay. Thank you. Right. Uh, there is no problem. Just relax. Everything is under control. We'll pick them. I want us to conclude this. It's very, very important to finish with this. Yes. Okay. Let's continue. You see, because we need to present this at the next meeting. Yes. Sir. Because those people will they are very, very, very crafty and I don't want them to, you know, try and be smart about it. Now calculate it. What is the what is the process?
Yes, ma, they are here, ma. All right, ma. Yes, ma. Children, wake up. Come and start doing your Your mommy is ready. Wake up. Wake up, she's ready. Wake up now, man. Eh? So, Lou, will you wake up? Dukebe, wake up! Dukebe, will you wake up? Wake up, wake up, wake up! The doctor said we are going to have a to spend the weekend with that. Sorry, it can't work again. It can't work again. I have an entity assignment in Calabar. And will you go and pick your bag? Mommy, it's not fair. Last week, my potter cut. This week, Calabar, it's not fair. It's not fair. It's not fair. Will you shut up? When do you think I get all the money to pay your school fees? You ride, you, 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 you take nice rides to school and you have all the computer games and DSTV. You, you work at your network. DS1, DS2, where do you think we get the money from? It's become mom and dad are working hard. Will you move? Move to bed. Will you move? Mommy, what us? Where you know you won't have time for us? What? <laughs> you slap me again? <laughs> what? If I get you, say that again. Mommy. You stopped over yesterday, you say we're test up. You slumped and you say we're test up. When I go to stop my test, mommy, I hate you. I hate you, I hate you, I hate you. So you come back here. So you come back here. What? Look at this boy, you. Look at your brother. You move.
office in Los Angeles, USA will soon be commissioned. Fantastic. And guess what? What? The MD is asking me to go and start up the place. I'll be there for just a year, and who knows, it could be an open door. Wait, 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 wait. wait. You mean you want to leave me and the kids? Dare you. In the first instance, it's just a year. It's going to boost our finances. This is a great opportunity. Wait, let me ask you a question. Is your MD not a Christian? Why, why, why has he chosen to send a married woman like you to the US? Don't you. It can't work, Funke. Don't try to be difficult. Don't let me lose this opportunity. After all, I'm in Lagos, you're in Abuja. Do we see each other every day? Look, Dayo. In this present dispensation, marriages are adjusted to suit the current economic challenges. Dayo, we just have to adjust. Uh, okay, okay. What about the kids? The kids? They can go to the boarding house. Boarding house? Those little children? They're too young for the boarding house. Oh, Dayo. They need parental care. Look, Dayo. Stop all these sentiments. Without good money to take care of those kids, they will suffer. We are working our hearts out because of them. Okay, okay, okay. It's okay. I'll think about it. No. I need your consent now. I, I, okay, I said, okay, let's sleep over it. I came all the way from Lagos because of this. Huh? Yes. Uh, okay, okay.
What is it? Oh, uh, uh, funky. <coughs> funky, funky. How far? Uh, how far now? Funky, come on. It's been long. I'm not in the mood. Uh, uh, oh, funky. Funky, I've, I've, I've missed you. I, I said I'm not in the mood. Funke, uh, Funke, I'm your husband. D don't, don't defraud me. Uh, the Bible says you should, we shouldn't defraud one another. Sorry, you. No show tonight. No show. Sure. Uh, it's, it's been long. Funke, please now. Uh, uh, what's your problem? Is it food that you cannot do without? It is food, and I've missed it. So you know how to hack now. This food, he's not ready. Funke. Ah, Funke. When last did you visit your husband in Abuja? Pastor, I was there once, but it wasn't... Uh... But what, Sister Funke? Sister Funke, but what? Look, it's not good for you to run your job at the expense of your home, you know? Pastor, I'm very busy. You know I'm a career woman. I do a lot of auditing job that makes me very, very busy. I'm not mm. being able to travel, but we do talk on phone. Ah, Sister Funke. That is not good enough. You ought to have visited him before now. What shall it profit you if you gain everything and lose your home? Mommy, I will not lose my home in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Bet sister Funke. The Bible says, let not the husband and wife depart from each other. It also says it is not good enough for the man to be alone. You are a submit. Pastor, but what am I supposed to do? He got a job that will help the family financially. And we both agreed together that he should go to Abuja. Well, our case is not the first one. There are many people whose spouses are either studying abroad or even on transfer. 
life must go on. I understand your sister Funke. But as a woman, you ought to be visiting him regularly. You are the wife. It's not convenient. It's not convenient, Sister Funke. In fact, you ought to be visiting him together with the children. Well, I hope you are praying for him. Of course, I'm praying for him. Sister Funke, you are no more consistent in your service of God. Hmm. You are an outstanding soloist in the choir. We have missed your voice so much. Pastor, you know my job. You know I'm very busy. I know your job. Okay. Whenever I am praying for your family, I feel so burdened. So many things are cloudy and unsettled. You're a woman. You are the defender of your home. Men are attackers. But the women are the defenders of the home. Mm. Yes. My sister, defend your home in prayers. Give no room to the enemy to intrude. Don't allow your job to suck away your spiritual energy mm. and steal your marital joy. I perceive that your need, sir. Pastor, Dayo is a child of God. He should be able to withstand any prayer that comes his way. And anyway, I can't be around him 24 7. He should rise up on his feet like other men. Huh? Sister Funke. I began saved at home from the range of King David. Dayo defended at home. By killing Cicera, I want you to understand something, Sister Funke. When defenders sleep, the enemy attacks. Sister Funke, rise up and save your home before it is too late. Thank you, Mommy. Pastor, thank you. It's all right. Shall we just have a word of prayer before we go? Where do we go from here? Uh, Your place or mine? Well, my place. Your place? Yes. My place. Oh. Okay. Let's oh. go. Come on. Come with me. for celebration.
Hi, honey. Where are you? I'm at home, in Abuja. That's not true. What do you mean by that? I say it's not true. to celebrate. That's right. To our friendship. Yes. You're Me, your food is not ready. But this food is ready. Wait, 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 your food, your food is not ready. Wait, 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 wait. This, this food is ready. Wait, wait. I was about eating it when you came. You will regret this. Can you? You wake up. What have you prepared for this? How dare you? You did this to me. You repair for this. Are you? Are you? Are you? Are you? Look, you. Are you? You will pay for this. Tayo, you will regret this. I bet you. You will regret this. And you. Ah. What kind of nonsense is this?
so you know how to act now. This food, he's not ready. Ah, Funke! Funke! He's not a bitch. You told me your food is not ready. But this food is ready. and marital unfaithfulness. Ah, and look, the solution is obvious. Hey, hey, it's hey, obvious. Hey, hey, hey. I hope you are not trying to do something serious. Certainly me. Me or funke. File a divorce suit. Ah. Oh, ch 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 Remember, God hates divorce. Ah, Remember? Pastor, God hates adultery and marital unfaithfulness. God hates adultery. But where do you place forgiveness, Sister Funke? Where? Forgiveness? Yes. Forgiveness? Forgiveness, my foot! Ah, forgive a man who, who broke my trust, who broke my heart, and even gave my love to another woman. Ah, mommy! Pastor, please just do something for me. Please wonder you to stay away from me! Eh? Excuse me. Sister Funke. Sister Funke, come back, come back now. Come back. <laughs> <laughs> Sister Funke, you have to be patient. All right? Don't allow sin to multiply. All right? Now, you said you caught your husband with another woman. That is adultery, right? But you too now, you are nursing the sin of unforgiveness. In your speech, hatred is obvious and it's spreading. <laughs> the Bible says you must not give the enemy a foothold. You and your husband gave the enemy a foothold and it's gradually changing it into a stronghold for you. I suggest you handle this matter prayerfully. Yes. <laughs> is that okay? You are also indicted in this matter. Did you play your role well? You exposed this man to temptation. I'm a woman. Between me and you, can you honestly say you satisfy him beyond reasonable doubt? Can you? Mommy, it's not fair. Ah. It's not fair. Is that your baby? Is he 
send out a child of God. Can't he control himself? Can't he control himself? Sister Funke, <laughs> listen and listen very good. I want you to fight for your home. Yes. Didn't I? Didn't I? But you are concerned with your job, your career, career woman. Yes. All right? You sacrificed your home on the altar of ambition, mm. on the altar of your job. Now you are losing your home and you are a kind wolf. You better pray that God will restore your husband. Pray for Brother Yo. Me. Oh, Lufuke, pray for Dayo. Ah, a backslider, a stinking adulterer. Please, Pastor, excuse me. Sister Funke. Himself. Hey, so you are playing the hero here, eh? Shut up! Will you keep quiet, the two of you? Ah. What is wrong with you? Ah. See, your marriage is crumbling before your very eyes, and none of you seems to get it right at all. Ah. Brother, Ayo, is it true? Just because she met the lady in my apartment. It's not just a lady, oh. she must be a harlot, a prostitute. Pastor, your church member is keeping a strange woman in his house, eh? Hey? Strange woman! Can you hear? Can you hear? Shameless man. Now, now, tell me, what was a lady doing in your apartment at such time of the night? Pastor, why are you beating about the bush? Let's call a spade. A spade. This guy, he is an adulterer. He is an adulterer, and it's over between us. He's over. I will divorce you. Praise God. Divorce me. Ha, hallelujah. Go ahead. Go ahead and divorce me. Pastor, she's a wicked woman. Let her go ahead and divorce me. I don't need you anymore. I don't even want to have you. I'm, eh, I'm free from your wickedness, from your from your nagging, from your... Ne, faith is not ready. Will you shut up your mouth? Will you keep quiet here? It's all right, sister. Okay. What is wrong with you? Brother, you ought to be ashamed of yourself. Yes. A responsible man caught in the web of adultery. You throw all cautions to the wind. To Abuja and you became another personality entirely. Pastor, with due respect, I am very sorry. With due respect, this woman is wicked. She is heartless. She has no feelings at all. She has denied me of everything. She stabbed me of intimacy, of love, of affection in marriage. Everything she has denied me of. I'm married to a job and not a woman. Nonsense. Pastor, there's a limit a man can go. You don't have the kind of experience I have. Shut you up your mouth! Pastor. Shut up your mouth! What did you do? Did you? Shut up! Idiot! In fact, my lawyer will get in talk with you. My lawyer will get in talk with you. I will divorce you. He hit you. I don't try. I don't try. I'm waiting for your lawyer. I'm waiting Sister for your lawyer. Sister Funke, come back here now. Huh? Mommy, leave her alone. Let her go. I'm free. <laughs> Praise the Lord, I'm free. Funke, I told you, I told you, I told you that you and this guy are not compatible. No? Look at now. You know what the Bible says in Amos chapter 3 verse 3? He says, can two walk together unless they be agreed? You and this guy do not agree. You are incompatible. He's a male chauvinist. He believes that women should be around him 24-7. He, he, he does not believe that women should rise to the potentials of their career. Look, Funke, let me tell you. Marriage is a gamble. It's a lottery. You either win or lose. I don't know, but... Um, what do you intend to do now? I want a divorce. 
Good. 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 That's what I need. You know when my ex was bugging me and disturbing me, complaining about my job, that uh, I travel too much, I'm here today, I'm out tomorrow. I told her that my job first. When she refused, I filed for a divorce. Cut that out, Funke. Look, the Bible permits divorce. Yes, it's permitted when there is infidelity. You have your facts. You've got your proof. You caught this guy red-handed. Yes. Moreover, you have irreconcilable differences. You are a career woman, a professional, a thoroughbred woman. Aiming for the top, but he does not want that for you. He is jealous of your career. But my kids. <laughs> okay, that's not an issue. That's not an issue at all. <laughs> Let me tell you, okay? Look, all is set in the office in Los Angeles. Okay? You can relocate really there with your children. Look, don't bother yourself. We will process all the papers. Don't worry. You have the opportunity to rise to the top of your career. That is your destiny. That is where you belong. And moreover, I will be there for you. Besides, uh, <laughs> you know, in case you need anything and uh, you want anything and, uh, <laughs> you know, from there, you know, <laughs> anything can happen, okay? <laughs> on filing a divorce suit. I caught him with a lady. He's cheating on me. Besides, we are no longer compatible. Divorce brings such intense loneliness to the children. It's pain. It's too difficult to begin to describe or even contemplate. Divorce has become a very fashionable way of dealing with marital conflicts. Divorce is not only devastating to the children, but also to the hurting and angry parents. And women pay a particularly high price, even though they are the ones that opted out of the relationship. What would you have done if you were in my shoes? Somebody that I trusted with the whole of my life caught in the web of adultery. I can't even stand living with such a promiscuous man again. And besides, I'm a career woman. It's like a clog in the wheel of my career. <sighs> Madam, are you a Christian? Of course I am. As Christians, we are the bride of Christ. But many times, we stray away and we flirt with the enemy. We walk in the flesh and we get our wedding gowns soiled. But the good thing, when we come back, broken, shattered, repentant, he takes our wedding gown and he dips it, even though it's been soiled with several sins, he dips it into that chemical that is stronger than any bleach that can remove our stains. His precious blood. You see, he accepts us back. 
and he expects us to do the same to one another when we are offended. Look, Barista, I've forgiven him. In fact, I'm just trying to put this whole issue behind me. But the fact remains that we are not compatible again. That is a lie. That is a lie of the devil. Let me tell you, there is no perfection in marriage. We approach marriage with a learner's permit, ready to work on each other's incompatibilities. My sister, you have to learn how to tolerate. You have to endure, walk in love. My sister, you have to forgive. You have to forgive and forgive again. Remember, God hates divorce. Barista Tunishi, God hates adultery. I want a divorce. Are you sure? Yes. This is not the dial at the tunnel I used to know. When did you suddenly become a spiritual baby that your home is gradually crumbling before your very eyes? Look, Akin, you don't understand. It's not my fault. Funke frustrated me. But she caught you with a girl. But I wasn't sleeping with her. Oh, look at you. Now, look at you. What's the difference? What's the difference? Should you be caught? With a lady in the first place? This incident depicts your spiritual state. It's obvious you are not as vibrant as you were in the Akin, okay, you're just condemning me. You should understand my plight. You should know what I'm going through. Plight? Did I hear you saying plight? What is your plight, Dyer? that made you descend so low to the point of having an affair with one of your staff? Aren't you conscious of eternity? Suppose the rapture happen. Will you be rapturable? No, 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 no. Even if your why is proving very difficult, did you really pray for her? As the priest of your home? Did you take the right step? When you got to Abuja, did you associate with the right people? Did you make your stand known that you are a Christian? Answer me, Dayo. Look, I can. Uh, the nature of the job, you should understand what I'm trying to do. No, 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 no. If you will recall, I tried inviting you to programs. You stylishly avoided them using your job as an excuse. <sighs> My God. <sighs> okay. I know I'm at fault. What do you suggest I do? I think you need to go back to them. You need to seek the face of God and ask for forgiveness. What about Funke? She's bent on a divorce, in spite of the fact that she caused all this. Dayo, you are inexcusable. Do you want to be like the children of Israel? In Egypt, it was Pharaoh. In the wilderness, it was Moses. They never saw anything wrong with themselves. Anyhow, I, I think you need to remember from where you are falling and rise again. If you cover your sin, you will not prosper. But if you confess and forsake them, you will obtain mercy. Revelation chapter 3 verse 19 says, As many as I love, I rebuke and chastise. Be zealous therefore and repent. As for your wife, Funke, leave her to God. God will handle her. Okay. 
you know what? I think we should pray. Let us pray. I think we should pray. Father, have mercy. Lord Jesus, have mercy on us. Let Dio be revived again. Amen. The Bible says there is hope for a tree cut down. Lord, visit his life. Amen. Restore all that have been destroyed. Finished business. Jumai, yes. get out of my sight. There's nothing between us anymore. You came into my life when I was spiritually asleep. Now I am awake. Leave this place. I love my wife and I will love her forever. Out!
Juma, is it? Yes, doctor. Um, from the test I've just conducted, that shows that you have chronic PID, which means you've had series of abortion, which has seriously damaged your womb. Um, if you attempt having another abortion, it could seriously damage your womb and uh, it could even kill you because um, there are indications that there are going to be a lot of complications. Oh, no. I don't want this baby. Why? Doctor, my initial plan did not work. Excuse me, Doctor, I, I have to be now. Wait, wait. What was your initial plan? Supposed to show. <sighs> but I am going to nail him. He will not be able to resist me. Mm -hmm. And once I get him, <laughs> I'm going to transfer the pregnant. You know it's a game of numbers. To make you me. Now what for you? <laughs> refusing to sleep with me. So what do you want me to do with an unwanted pregnancy? If you can't do it, others will. Good day. If you terminate that pregnancy, you've just signed your suicide note. You will not just go through the initial pain. You will go through the ultimate pain. Eternal pain. I mean sorrow, anguish. Eternal torment in hellfire. What do you mean? Have you seen young lady? Okay. You might just look at you. You're a beautiful lady. A complete woman. Endowed with priceless potential. But there is a devastating parasite which is in a process to terminate your destiny. Sin is that spiritual cancer that eats the soul of a man. Why have you sold yourself to immorality? Why do you want to ruin your life? Come on, young lady. Jesus loves you. Love. It doesn't exist. I grew up without love. My parents hated each other until they divorced each other. I lived with my mother, who had another lover. I was bitter. I swore never to marry because what I saw irritated me. I lived with different people. was rough 
on the campus. I was a big campus baby. I was also number one in the ladies' campus cult, called the Red Ones. No one dare cross my way. With my body, I have broken many homes. I have ripped many apart with my seductive strategies. In Abuja here, I date big men. It's all my parents' fault. They never cared about us. My brother... My brother was a hardened criminal. Doctor... Life is not fair. never been fair. But that was not God's original plan. His plan was for us to enjoy life, have no stress, and, but sin crept in when man allowed sin to enter. It created enmity between man and God. So God had to devise another strategy to restore man unto himself. He had to send his only son, Jesus Christ, to lay down his life for us. Listen, Jumai, no one loves you like Jesus. He shed his blood for you, for the remission of your sins and my sins. But I'm filthy. I'm dirty. My hands are filled with blood. Blood of innocent babies. Homes. Homes that are broken. Doctor, I don't want this baby. That baby in your womb is a child of destiny. If your mother had aborted you, would you be here today? Just look at me. The man sitting in front of you today was abandoned in the bush. My, ma my mother abandoned me. I never knew my mother. Somebody picked me up, took care of me. But I salute my mother's courage. I salute her because she did not abort destiny. Look at me today. I'm a medical doctor. I cure using my medical skills. And as a child of God, I minister life to people. But oh, my life is so bad. So. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 18, from verse, from verse 3. Then I went down to the potter's house, and behold, he was walking on the wheels, and the vessel that he made was spoiled in the hand of the potter. So he reworked it again, as it seemed good to him. He is the potter. You are the clay. He can remake you. Because your life was spoiled in his hand. He can rewrite your story. He will make you a brand new person. Give him a chance. Can he? Of course he can. He says, behold, I stand at the door of your heart knocking. If you hear his voice and open, it, open your heart, he would accept you. Come unto him. He wants to make you his bride. Would you accept this proposal? Yes. That's nice. You want to give your life to Jesus? Yes. Yeah. 
Say, my Lord Jesus. Yes, my Lord Jesus. I come to you today. I come to you today. I realize I'm a sinner. I realize I'm a sinner. I ask you to come into my heart. I ask you to come into my heart. Be my Lord. Be my Lord. And my Savior. My Savior. Write my name. Write my name. In the book of life. Thank you for saving me. setting your heart and your affections on the things of this world. You allow the works of the flesh to dominate your spirit man. You refused to play your role as a wife. You refused to submit yourself to your husband. You allow pride, obstinacy and disobedience to dominate your life. You allowed hatred to degenerate to murder, and no murderer has a part in heaven. But my husband, he committed adultery. No, he didn't, though he almost did, though he had committed it in his heart. He had repented. You were not patient enough. You neglected your role as a gap filler, a home defender, and a virtuous woman who builds a home. You let your husband to wander away into the hands of strange women. Hell is for murderers. No, no. 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 Come with me to hell. No. You will join your fellow murderers, the pass of men, liars, fornicators, adulterers, proud, the envious. The list is endless. Somebody help! Help with me to hell. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh, oh. 
Warn your son. Uh -uh. Warn your son to Luna to mislead my son, Tony. What? Yes. I saw them in the company of that wayward boy, Kunle. What? I even caught them dancing to worldly music in his room. <sighs> As if that one is not enough. They drank all my cans of drink. What? And even smuggled some away. This can't be true. <laughs> Call your son. Tolu! 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 What were you doing in Kunle's house? Uh, it was when you were not. When it was what? When you were playing with Kule. We went to play with Kule. I better not told you. I better not told you not to play. We just wait, wait, wait. Hey, hey, hey. Yes, get out of here. I will deal with you later. Please, madam, please. I, I apologize. I'm going to handle the situation. I'm really sorry. Please. Uh, Tony Tolu. What is really wrong? What is the matter? You see, your children used to be role models in this neighborhood. Huh? Ah, but please. I don't want my children to be badly influenced. That's why I come. That's why I'm so hot. Where? Thank you. God will help you. Neglecting you. <laughs> oh, I promise I'll be there for you. Mommy is here for you now. Oh, I'm sorry, children. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I know I will be there for you. I'll be here to assure you. But please forgive me. Oh, God. <laughs> I've done to you. Oh, Jesus. 
Please forgive me. <laughs> Jesus. I've been proud, obstinate and disobedient. I don't even know what came over me. I've been selfish. Dara, <laughs> please. I've been a bad mother. Oh my God. A bad wife. Ah. Dara, please forgive me. Ah. I cost everything that happened. I don't understand you. <laughs> forget, forget. I'm, I'm also very sorry. We gave the enemy a foothold ah. and he built it to become a stronghold. <laughs> Funke, no, you didn't. I caused it. I caused it so. I'm part of the blame, please. Ah, Daya, please. Funke, look at me. Look at me. Look at me. Open your eyes. Look at me. Together we'll build this, we'll build this home. Amen. That stronghold will break it together. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. I, I forgive you. From the bottom of my heart, you I do. You do. I renew my love for you. Oh my God. 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 Oh Lord. Go back to our home, Lord. Father. Father Lord, we thank you. Lord, we thank you. Father Lord, we thank you. Have mercy on us, Lord. Have mercy, O Lord. Have mercy, Lord. Lord In the mercy. name of Jesus. Come oh. back, Lord, into this oh. home. Take your place, Jehovah. Take your place in our home, Lord. Take your place, Jehovah. Come and take your place, oh Lord. Father, come and take you. Come and take your place, oh Lord. In our home, come and take your place in our lives. Come and take your place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 